Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. As you can see, things are moving along with the remodel of the shop into the new toy museum. Since the last look at this area, we've installed all of the vapor barrier, framed up the walls, and had all of the insulation and sheetrock delivered. Now soon we'll get all that sheetrock put up and then we can get some texture and paint on the walls and finally move in. I've also had some electrical work done by the folks at Taylor Electric. They did an excellent job, but that step delayed the rest of our process by about a week. Not the fault of the fine folks at Taylor's, it was just an issue with scheduling and working around the current quarantine. Now we've also torn down the ceiling and the wall that covered part of the shop. A big thanks to my pard, Chris, for his help on that. Of course, anyone that's helping me over here is working at practicing social distancing by maintaining at least six foot distance and not sharing tools. So again, the project is moving right along, slower than I'd like, but that's just how it is. I'll be patient and work at keeping you all updated on the progress. Now, before I head back to work, I wanted to share a video clip with you that I shot just before I left Southern Oregon. I had an opportunity to do some cowboy action shooting with my pards at the Table Rock Rangers. And that was the last monthly match I attended before we went into quarantine lockdown. One of my pards that was there was Deacon Doug. And Doug shoots in the classic cowboy category. Now that category requires the use of 40 caliber or larger in your pistol and rifle. Although you can shoot percussion revolvers in this category. Your ammo can be either smokeless or black powder. The rifle must be an 1873 or earlier style rifle. So the 1866 or the Henry or the famous 1873 gun that won the West would be fine in this category. Now shotguns must be SAS legal, external hammer, double barrel or lever actions. I plan to dive a little deeper into this category on a future episode. It's important to note though that the revolvers must be shot doula style and no Buscadero or the Hollywood style drop loop holsters are allowed in this category. Now, like I said, shotguns must be either hammered double barrels or lever action shotgun. And since I get a lot of questions about shooting an 1887 lever action shotgun in the sport of cowboy action shooting, I thought that's what we'd take a closer look at on this episode. Now I used to use one and I'll link on screen to some of the episodes of Jedi TV where I use mine. Coop took over shooting mine for quite a while, but right now my lever action shotgun is stored, waiting for the museum remodel to be completed, so I won't be shooting it anytime soon. And since Doug is one of the few folks that I shoot with regularly that uses one, and he's pretty darn efficient with it, as you'll see, I figured I'd share some footage of him using an 1887 shotgun. And Doug's 87 was worked on by Coyote Cap prior to Cap's retirement. So if you're looking for a lever action shotgun gunsmith, right now both Deke and Doug and I would recommend looking up Lassiter. He's the go-to guru of 1887 shotguns. Of course, if you know another smith that's good with these shotguns, then by all means, leave that information down in the comment section. For now though, enjoy some cowboy action shooting with Deke and Doug. And don't forget to hit that like button for him. Let's play. Stand by.
going up. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up by clicking on that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to Jedi TV so you don't miss out on any of my adventures. And if you're a regular here, please consider supporting our channel through either the Buy Me A Coffee program or through our Patreon. You can find links for both of them in the description box below this video. Now with all that said, I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. Shotguns must be SAS legal, external handler. Now shotguns must be SAS legal, external handler. <laughs>